walked outside and uh, with just my shirt on and I'm thinking, oh, this is gonna be fine. This is kind of cold, so I put a sweater on and I started thinking, is it really cold or am I just getting old? You know, I don't, you, you know, when you start getting older, you're like, hey, it's cold all the time. When it really isn't. It's probably because your heart's not beating enough, you know. Or you don't have enough spice in your life. But that's where we're gonna be going right now is a little hole in the wall bar. Um, it's not really even a hole in the wall, you know, but it's a bar here in uh, sunny San Diego. Sometimes it's sunny, um, called the Tomcat Bar and Grill. And the Tomcat, um, if I'm not mistaken, was in the movie Top Gun. And it's just a little ways from Miramar, uh, well, it's a marine base now, but it used to be a naval base, uh, an airfield. That's where they have what's known as, uh, at least to the locals, Tomcat wings. And so a friend of mine, she really likes Tomcat wings. And she's always like, let's go to the Tomcat, let's go to the Tomcat, let's go to the Tomcat. And uh, just for the wings, you know, well, she the beer too, but she likes the wings. So I'm gonna go down there right now. We're gonna pick up some of these wings and then I'm going to dissect them to figure out how to make them at home. And we're cruising over here, and there is the Tomcat. And it's a Sunday morning, and interestingly enough, it doesn't look like anybody's there, but it says it, that it's open. Very interesting. Um, when they said it was going to take 15 to 20 minutes, and I had to order this at 10:38, it took about that. It took about 15, 20 minutes, just like they said. Um, one thing that I'm smelling in here, inside the truck, it's kind of like an overcooked chicken, and uh, uh, like a little bit of a overcooked onion. Okie dokie. So what do we got here? So I see red pepper flakes, and I can tell that they've been sautéed, along with the um, jalapeno peppers and the green onion, which basically tells me that these have been cooked and then they had put this in something that they had sauteed, because there's no way that you can deep fry this and expect these things to stay, uh, like the red pepper flakes to stay on the chicken. So that's the first. Let's grab one of these guys. I'm not really seeing too much of anything else. There might be some pepper on it. Um, what I'm tasting is like, Salt, a little bit of pepper, the green onion that has been like sauteed, and maybe MSG. I'm not supposed to eat any of that, so I might get sick, but I need to know so I can dissect this. I think I've got it. Let's do this. So after I ate that, man, my sinuses and everything just started going crazy and my allergies, and it was a mistake. But at the same time, I needed to know what was in it. So, let's come over here. We got ourselves a chicken wing. We're gonna come over here where the joint is. We're gonna find it by kind of bending it and then eventually we'll get inside here. We can get rid of that. We can save this for soup stock. Come down in here. Same thing. We can find the joint by opening it up. We need to get a jalapeno, and I know that's a good size jalapeno. And um, I had done a video about cross contamination, and a lot of people would wash their cutting board at this point in order to cut this. But we're going to saute this, so anything that's going to end up being on this is going to end up getting on this anyway during the cooking process, but it'll be dead. So there's really nothing to worry about. Um, if this was something that you were planning on eating raw, then you would absolutely want to uh, clean your cutting board. Boy, that smells good. That's probably good enough. Same thing with the, uh, the green onion. We're just going to get rid of that. We're going to come in and we're going to... It's mostly greens. 
that they have in, in that mix of theirs. But we're going to end up uh, taking a little bit of this onion. One of the things we're going to be needing for our wings is going to be crushed red chili flakes. And we're going to be putting that in with the oil. So that is separate from the seasoning. I got about a teaspoon of salt. This is fresh ground black pepper. We're going to put maybe half of a teaspoon, maybe a quarter, something like that. One thing I did taste is this accent, which is MSG. I did taste that. So what we want to do is we want to put maybe about that much, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. So our seasoning is ready. But we need to saute these guys so that way we can throw the wings inside here and coat them before we serve them. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil in this. Jalapeno. Onion. Crushed red chili flakes. And as far as like our salt and pepper, we're going to end up using a few pinches of this. And now we just need to saute this. I have to admit, it is interesting to see that they didn't really have um, garlic. Because I didn't really taste too much garlic in there. In fact, I didn't taste any at all. I pretty much tasted salt, a little bit of pepper the onion there's a strong onion flavor and um, the heat from the jalapenos but I didn't really taste any garlic which is unusual so I've got some hot oil here I had fried some shrimp in earlier but I'm not worried about that So I had done the second batch and now the first batch that I had fried I'm putting back in and this is what's called double frying and this is going to end up making these a lot more crispy and also reheat them. And you only have to keep these in here for a couple minutes. Okay, it's only been a, it's only been a couple of minutes but we can see that the oil has kind of calmed down and then these have become browner and more crispy so we're going to take these out we're going to let them drain then we can go ahead and put them inside the uh, sauteed vegetables okay so these are our sauteed vegetables and what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick three of each in here And we can just go ahead and kind of coat and stir. The only difference I can see is that I used olive oil where they didn't. But the real test is to have somebody actually taste it. And they'll sit there and say, oh, there's a difference, there isn't a difference. Does that one taste like it has MSG though? Like the sweet, salty? Yeah, I can, yeah, this is more of um, the sweet, salty. Yeah. But other than the sweet salty, would you say it's really close? Mm hmm But if I was going to try to make mine exactly like Tomcat's, what do you think I need to add or do? Because, I mean, obviously you can tell where I had used oil, and theirs doesn't look like there's too much oil. I mean, for me to know for sure, I'd have to go back in the kitchen and look, and I don't think they're going to let me do that. But the Tomcat's have more of a sweet salty, though, right? Yeah. So that's MSG. This is more salty, um... And I think it's because you, those are fresh, and this, these are kind of been. That's why this, this chicken's juicier. Yeah, I. But the sweet salty is definitely from the MSG because they wouldn't add sugar to it. But I like this one better, to be honest with you. Well, the batch I had that night is really. It was yummy. It's really good. Um. Tastes a little different than this one. I don't yeah. know. Well, each person that makes them there is different. Yeah, that's what it's I'm saying. It's just like the, the, these don't look like the ones that Russell ordered when me and her got. Yeah, no, they don't. They don't look like the one that Russell ordered for uh, for me either. Mm -hmm. 
but they were so good but they look the ones she ordered looks different than them yeah anyway guys that's that if you like this video make sure you hit like make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't tried the tomcat wings and you're here in san diego you should stop by and get a set though they actually are really good wings um but i i think i taste a msg in them i'm almost positive i taste msg um there's a sweet salty flavor that you just can't get any other way and that's also going to make it where they're addicting and people say oh my god they're so good and you know you're going to find that also in chick-fil-a i believe and then i think they also do it with popeyes and stuff like that it's common but anyway um that's that and until next time we'll talk to you later